Bells were important tools on steam locomotives in the 1800s through the turn of the century, warning of oncoming trains. Today, bells serve as historic symbols of hardworking employees, like members of IAM's Railroad District 19, who have painstakingly taken care of their own bell since 1994. The bell rang in Grand Lodge conventions, district conventions, and transportation conferences, often kidnapped and held for ransom as a fundraising tool. This is a steam error bell, and uh, the bell has numbers stamped into it. And if you're able to track it back far enough, it would actually be the number of the steam locomotive that this bell was actually on. It was called to our attention, you know, the bell was showing its wear for many, many years of being utilized as an icon for the IAM in District 19. I made the suggestion that I felt that with cooperation of uh, the Norfolk Southern Railway, we could get this refurbished by our members who work here in Roanoke Locomotive Shop. Getting the bell from Denver was a challenge. In a sort of relay, six members moved the bell, first to Kansas City, then Chicago, through Ohio and Pennsylvania, before arriving here in Roanoke. Norfolk Southern has an excellent reputation for refurbishing old bells, and the Roanoke Locomotive Shop has the awards and business to prove it. I guess in the past seven years, we've really, really picked up as far as the bell production that we did. It used to be like one bell every six months or eight months, and now it's gone from that to three or four bells a month. But District 19's bell had special meaning as Hepler and fellow machinists Randy Walker and Bill Aldrich spent three months working on each piece, machining and polishing. We'd test them and make sure everything worked, and if it didn't, then we would, we'd go back and we would find out why things didn't work. But we use, there's a lot of different pieces in the, in the process to make the thing complete, and we want to make sure everything was right because it's, it's an extreme honor to be able to do the bell. All the hours of hard work paid off, with the bell shining as if it were new. You can even see your reflection. For an old bell, it was in decent shape. It just needed a little, little TLC, a little polishing, a little tender love and care. The kind of care only a machinist could give to such an important piece of history. This bell weighs 300 pounds. It takes four people to move it, and now it's on its way back to Denver. With the help of a cart, the bell was moved out of the Roanoke locomotive shop and into the parking lot, where Orwin's truck awaited the loading process. After being wrapped to avoid any damage during transport, the machinist who worked so hard for so long had to say goodbye, and Orwin said hello to an old friend with a machinist-made makeover. Started back to Denver for the convention coming up here in August, and uh, I'll be the sole person responsible for this. From Roanoke, Virginia, all the way back to Denver, more than 1,500 miles traveled by a bell famous for ringing in some of the most important meetings of machinists anywhere in the world. Machinist News Network, I'm Tanya Hutchins.